It's literally the middle of the night. It's about 1.30 in the morning. But we're gonna go on the island trying to see turtle hatching. Let's go try to see baby turtles. I really hope we can see some. I mean, that's something magical. Both of us, we were always dreaming to see that. All the stars aligned today, so. Finger crossed. Yeah. Oh, I take a chance, will you let me ride? I could be the best thing in your life. Take a drive, take a Welcome back on board Take It Easy. In the past months, you saw us getting to the reef in the Capricornia group and back to the coast. And now we are going back on the reef again. What I didn't tell you is that there was a reason for all of these trips to the reef. We were trying to see turtles during the nesting season. Today, we'll share with you what we were lucky to witness on all of those trips. First, let me tell you more about sea turtles. We have seven different species of marine turtles in our oceans. Nearly all species are now classified as endangered due to human activities, but I'll get on to this later. Six of the seven species have been recorded breeding in Queensland, so strategy for conservation and protection are very important. Marine turtles nest on many beaches along the South Queensland on most nights from December to February. The Capricorn bunker groups of islands on the Great Barrier Reef are one of the world's major breeding areas for greens and loggerhead turtles. We have several options for reef hopping where there is a coral cave for us to see turtles. We didn't go to Northwest and although we went to Masshead, access to the beach is forbidden during the nesting season to limit human interference. So we are left with Heron Island and Lady Musgrave. Marine turtles do not leave the sea for most part of their lives so they are very timid and easily disturbed. For this reason they are best seen after dark and the season is mostly from November to January as the summer heat is preferred since the sand is warm enough to incubate the eggs. Turtles can sometimes attempt to come ashore a few times in one night before finding a spot they like. Things that can disturb them are noise and light, which is why in this video you'll see footage with poor lightning and sound. It was more important for us to respect nature, even if it meant we couldn't share our experience with you to the best quality possible. Alright, it's literally the middle of the night. It's about 1.30 in the morning. But we're gonna go on the island trying to see turtle hatching because we are close to high tide during the night. So that's when you get the most chances of seeing them. We got up middle of the night. Let's go try to see baby turtles. I really hope we can see some. I mean, that's something magical. Both of us, we were always dreaming to see that. All the stars aligned today, so. Finger crossed. Yeah. There's a turtle. Laying eggs there. I'm gonna put it in my face. She's so exhausted. She's having a break this one. She's digging, yeah. Well, the birds have pitched the eggs in them. She's massive. The first one we saw was only just starting the process of digging a pit using all four flippers to form a large hole. The entire process can take up to four hours, so we decided to leave this one alone. We found another one that night that was close to the end of the process, so clearly we missed the best part. After going back to bed for a bit, we went back on the beach to try to see if we could get lucky during daylight, although we knew the odds were really low. Of course, no luck at that time, but the walk on the beach was still very pleasant. We also found some eggshells on the beach, proof that something happened during the night. That's giving us hope. Alright guys, that's a big mama turtle. She just finished nesting and she's going back into the sea. Look at how big she is. No luck on day two, as we only saw turtles returning to the sea. Perhaps we got there a bit too late? Do you want to know a fun fact? The hatchling sex is dependent on the temperature of the sand in which the nest sits. Cooler nests produce more boys and warmer, more girls. Well, that one certainly didn't make it easy for herself. She's on a tree with lots of boots. Day three is our day. We arrived just at the right time to see the best part of the process. Once the female has dug the big hole, she will use her hind flippers to dig out a vertical, pear-shaped egg chamber about 60 cm deep. She will then start laying her eggs before covering the nest. After that, she will crawl back into the ocean.
Digging that chamber, like everything else, is a slow process. At that point, the turtle is exhausted and taking a lot of breaks. But we were so amazed to see how she is scooping out the sand using her flippers as shovel and how perfectly geometrical the chamber is. It's now time to lay the eggs. She will drop two or three eggs at a time for a total of about 80 to 120 eggs, depending on the species. The eggs are flexible so they don't break as they fall into the chamber. No luck for hatchling on that night, we only saw a dead baby turtle. The truth is, only one out of a thousand hatchling make it to the breeding age of 30. The average lifespan of a sea turtle is between 50 and 80 years old. Okay, we're back. No luck today when it comes to hatching, but we still saw some cool things. Yeah. So we saw a couple of turtles going to lay their eggs. We actually saw one, we arrived right at the right time in the process because she was laying her eggs and she was like scooping out the sand to create a hole and then dropping her eggs in there. How Death? tiny are those eggs? I thought they would be big because there's the shell of the turtle inside. Yeah, I, I thought they would be like a bit bigger than a chicken egg, yeah. but actually it's it's quite smaller and then after that all we saw is a dead baby turtle but it was still very fresh unfortunately it's its eyes have been pecked out yeah. and we saw a few tracks from baby turtles yeah so they were close and lots of birds activity as well because mm -hmm. the birds are actually eating them out so if we go back we should follow the birds more so yeah we might give it another go tomorrow if we're not too tired but right now let's go back to bed oh yeah we have some proof of uh, birth here because there's little holes like this in the sand and there's eggshells as well so yeah we missed it let's keep going once again no luck on day four we've tried going about an hour before sunrise which seemed to be a bit too late maybe. The hatchling can be seen from January to late March. They usually leave their nest at night when the sun temperature is cooler. Hatchlings break from their eggs all within a few hours and it takes about 24 hours to leave the eggshell. They all start climbing upwards to the surface which can take them up to two days. Once at the surface, they start racing to the ocean. Fun fact, while in the nest, Hatchlings use the Earth's magnetic field to create an internal GPS. This is then used to find their way back to their birthplace when it comes time for them to turn to nest. Turtle nesting here. She's massive. Did you see? She's exhausted. Something exceptional. The shell is on at least a meter. We are on the island on Musgrave Island trying to see if we can uh, find some baby turtle hatching. But um, yeah, no luck for us tonight. We saw Big Mama um, laying eggs, but that's it. And the weather is turning, there's some thunderstorms coming and quite a few lightnings in the sky and a lot of clouds. So we're not going to stay on the island, um, I'm afraid. It was just a short try. So yeah, no luck for us, but you know, if it was easy, we would be magical. Maybe another time.
Look. Look. Happy potatoes. Look. They know you. Look at them. They know you. Oh my god, look at them. Oh. This way. He's running. One of the last one we saw was actually upside down and struggling. Normally, we'd try to have no interaction and let nature run its course. Maybe this one wasn't destined to live. But knowing how much of a negative impact humans have on marine turtles, we decided to have a positive one for once and help it. We picked it up and moved it down the beach so that it could catch up with the others. We decided to drop it on the sand and not directly in the sea to ensure it was still going through the entire process. Just when we were about to give up, we heard some little noise on the coals, like a little bit of rain, you know, like, is it raining? But no, actually we saw all these little turtles coming down the coals. And going in the water. That was just beautiful. Wow, we've been awake for a few nights now to see that. Wow, so happy to see that. Beautiful. What an experience this was, we feel so blessed. Turtles are really magical and we are so grateful to be somewhere where the government understands the need for protection and preservation. A marine turtle can be aged 30 to 50 before it begins to breed. Combined with this, the breeding season might be once in only 2 to 8 years and also hatchlings have a very low chance of survival with perhaps 1 in 1000 reaching maturity. All of these factors make sea turtles particularly vulnerable to human interference. As I mentioned before, most species are endangered by human activity. Threats include bycatch, when fishing, which is how almost 5,000 turtles are killed each year in Indonesia alone, trade and consumption, which is responsible for 10,000 disappearances each year, loss of habitats with coastal development, and climate change. I told you how cooler nests produce more boys, so with global warming, we end up with a skewed ratio with more females. We also weren't always so respectful of nesting turtles. Heron Island used to be a turtle cannery up until the 1930s. Alongside the change to the hatchlings, visitors could ride on the back of turtles as they made their way up the beach. We're back on board and honestly, I can't believe our luck. It was literally the last chance for us to see that and we had given up when it happened. It's such a dream come true for us. Turtles are our favorite animals, so much so that I've got one tattooed on my arm. That's it for us this week. If you want to know more about turtles conservation, I'll put a few resources in the description below. I particularly invite you to read the Queensland Marine Turtle Field Guide and watch the TED Talks about the survival of the sea turtles. I 
i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to drop us a like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye